so i'm here to talk about um the latest update that i heard about ECOWAS saying that they are ready to invade niger i just want to say it's like such a sellout and i also wanted to say it's not very different from like slavery because what happened during slavery is basically we sold our people out to white folks that's not very different from now some white guy is sitting in Washington somewhere or in France somewhere. And this this time is just done differently. It's not as crude as how it was back in the day. So they're just sending orders. I don't know if they're calling you guys on the phone or how are they doing it. But they're calling you 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 guys and giving the orders. And you're like, yes, Masa, Masa, I'm going to do it. And you're going, you're going to sell your people out. You are the leaders of these countries. We put you, or I don't know, I guess they put you in order to lead us, but you're not a leader. You guys are weak. You're weak and you're such an embarrassment to stand as a people that represent majority of the Africans who are strong. You know, the people, uh, Africans are strong. The ones that I know are strong. I don't know where you guys come from. I don't know if you're some clones that they made in a factory somewhere and put you in there but you're such an embarrassment i mean like what you guys are doing like those in echo us not all of you because i know like some of you are not for for going to invade niger but the ones that are going to invade niger i mean you guys do not represent the majority okay you might represent the folks outside you might re re represent the westerners or those in france but you do not represent africans okay you're such an embarrassment a huge embarrassment to sell your people out you're you're going to go attack the people when you clearly know that the majority of the people from that country do not want this so-called democratically elected leader of their country if he was democratically elected why are they trying to kick him out then even if he was and and he no longer serves the interests of the people of that country they have the right to kick him out they can absolutely kick him out so you do not have the right to sit in your own countries and tell the people of another country how they're going to run their area up to the point where you're trying to you can give advice and let them know we we are against it but you do not have the right to go and attack another country okay so sit your asses out it's none of your business, okay? That's all I wanted to, to say. Sit your asses out. It's none of your business. That's an individual country. You cannot leave from your own land and go and tell somebody. It's just like sitting in your house and a husband and a wife, they're fighting somewhere, which I'm not saying husband and wife should fight, but it happens. And then you decide that you're going to go, instead of like trying to let them know, don't do it, don't do it. You are against it. You're supposed to like coax them, not go in and let them know that you're going to come with a gun and shoot them if they're not like keeping peace. Like, what is that? That's some backwards shit. And to know that in this day and age, we're still doing like a lot of backward things. Thank God. That is all now in the open and it's more in the in the in the open where everybody can see how ridiculous the leaders are some of them are not all some of you are like just embarrassment Tinubu, you are an embarrassment you are a huge embarrassment okay